Hope 7 is such a fantastic place, and I just want to make it even better than it already is. It's amazing. Life was breathed into the room. Sometimes if it's hot, it'll... Can you throw a little shoulder into it? Yeah. Oh. It's okay, no, it, it goes okay. like that. Yeah, yeah. Then it's fine. <laughs> There's nothing in this building you could probably break that much, yeah. so, but that hasn't already been broken. Yeah. <laughs> it's like 200 years old. Does anyone want to share about their day today? Hi, I'm Maggie Hall. Welcome to Hope 7 Community Center in Troy, New York. Hope 7 is a community center. We are a warm and welcoming space. It makes me feel really comfortable and makes me feel like I'm safe here and all my friends are here. And this is like your second home. The mission of Hope 7 Community Center is to be a resource for and provide services for individuals and families in our community. So we really want to bring hope to our community. We really want to support our community and uplift our community because um, once people are uplifted, they really can do great things. Hope 7's after school and summer camp programs provide safety, joy, and enrichment to generations of children, including many from struggling families. They also operate a food pantry that serves basic needs to hundreds of people each month. All the counselors here, they work their butts off. They tell me that I can believe in myself no matter how tough the path goes. I love Hope 7 because of the impact that they've had on my life. I grew up here as a kid in Troy, so to see how the kids are growing themselves here is, is amazing. They know that, you know, we're never going to judge them. We're always going to love and accept them for who they are. Hope 7's two-century-old building presents daily challenges and really could use some modern inspiration. You know, the building is very special to us because it served as a firehouse, it served as a library for a brief time. So we have windows that are 200 years old, we have doors that are 200 years old. They let out a lot of heat in the winter, especially. Um, I know myself and some other staff members will wear blankets because we're cold in the winter, especially upstairs can get pretty warm, um, so we're running our air conditioners a lot. So we definitely have to utilize our resources really carefully. Um, we are a nonprofit, so we're not really bringing any money in much. The more support that we can get, the more that we're able to do for our community. Sit down right over here, okay? I think it would mean so much to the staff and to myself and to the children if George to the Rescue could help out. And it would mean so much to me to see the kids feel that way about themselves. And I feel like it would really help raise their confidence and uplift them to know that and feel proud of their space as well. You know, feel proud of where they go, feel proud of where they work. What's up, okay, How you doing, guys? is it here at Hope 7? Yeah! It's important to make sure that you get time to play outside and inside. I want to make sure that there's spaces for you guys where you can just really just get creative. Hope 7 is such a fantastic place and I just want to make it even better than it already is. You guys down with that? Yeah. You guys trust me? Yeah. I'm sorry, do you trust me? George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Filtreat Air Filtration Products. For more info, go to filtreat.com. There she is. What's up, Julie? Hey, George. Thanks for bringing me here. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to Hope 7. I'm really excited to be working with my friend Julie from JMP Interiors. Hope 7, it is an incredible resource for the community. This really is a place of hope for a lot of parents that wouldn't have this resource otherwise. Wow. Right? So this is, as you can see, kind of the art room. Looks a little bit like an art room that maybe we would have had when we were young. And I don't think they've done anything since. You know, like, hello, 1984. If you walked into the art room right now, you might not realize it's, it's the art room. It looks more like a kind of walk-through closet with all the racks and, and the bins and the, just this overall dysfunction. This is about hope, it's about opportunity, right. it's about inspiring, art is inspiring, but art doesn't always mean paints, Play-Doh. So I'd like to have a lot of different, almost like pods, kind of grouped areas where the kids can really explore, 
play, be imaginative. Obviously the art room, that just needs to be like start from scratch. This we is like is a also play start from scratch, but it's more of a blank canvas. Not, and you got like this old, I don't know, like is this is this is this mulch? Is it all broken rubber? I mean, this is the stuff that when your kids are running around out here, it just gets stuck in their sandals, it gets stuck in their shoes. Getting rid of this and putting something down, maybe more like a turf or, or some other kind of material that is gonna just like a more you know, kid-friendly yep. surface. So the art room needs a lot of work in order to get it into tip-top shape. So my husband, Tom Putzel, owner of General Services of Upstate New York, he's going to come in and he's going to bang this out. We're going to rip up the carpet, we're going to paint the walls, we're going to install the new LVP flooring, and we're going to finish it out with lighting. It already looks light, bright, and fresh in here, and that's what we were going for. I got to give it up to Julie and all the trades she brought through these doors. The floors, the painting, her electrician from Mike Clancy Electric, and all the roughing he's done, absolutely incredible. So this is it, Bob. This is Hope 7. Hope 7 is a 200-year-old firehouse, and nothing has been done to make this place more energy efficient. So we are bringing National Grid in to help us make this place more efficient by doing an energy efficiency evaluation. Okay, George, so you see you have an air conditioning unit here in the window. A lot of air gaps. Fill those up, really easy weather stripping. And the idea is that this foam is gonna seal up where the air gap is right now. As easy as it is to add weather stripping, you should also look at your lighting. Switching CFLs with LEDs can also reduce your energy use. Oh, this is great, George. I love seeing these smart thermostats. This really gives customers the power to regulate and schedule uh, how hot or cold they want in their house right from the palm of their hand. And also these lights, right? These are motion detector lights? Occupancy sensors, so basically if uh, you leave the room for long enough, the lights turn off. We all know that kids don't ever turn off the lights. Never. Never. We have determined what it's gonna take to make Hope 7 more energy efficient. Now it's time to upgrade the heating and the cooling. So I'm bringing in my friends from Best Fire and Daikin to help us out. See, the HVAC systems are finally going in, huh? The Daikin Aurora Inverter technology is so efficient that it can still provide comfort in temperatures as low as negative 13 degrees below zero or up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Sweltering hot, freezing cold, it will provide you whatever you need. The energy efficiency on these new Daikin systems with the inverter technology, more efficient than traditional window air conditioners or electric baseboard heating. Well, I'm psyched, man. I mean, I'm psyched that I know everyone here at Hope 7 is this is gonna be a really big deal. What's up, Hope 7? Uh, what do you say, you guys ready to see what we did? George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Scotch Painters Tape. The best paint jobs start with Scotch. Promotional consideration furnished by Daikin. Perfecting the air we share. Let's do it. Who's excited? Who's excited? I'm excited. Go get them, guys. Have an awesome day. Wow, we have a crazy amount of things going on right now. We got all the kids just loaded up on the bus because they're going on a field trip. We have the whole team from Blue Spruce here. They're ripping things out. Many hands make light work, so we got a lot of work. Let's, let's get it done. And it's going to rain. Ah! In order to pull off the exterior beautification and functionality of the playground, we needed to bring in a landscape architect, my friend Kirsten from Studio A. And then, of course, to make it all come to life, we're bringing in my friend Anita and Eric and their whole team at Blue Spruce Landscape and Design. When the project was first presented to us, it just sent all those special sentiments. This is about children and this is about giving back. Don't be fooled by the nice fence. What lies on the other side is quite a disaster. So the current play area is full of black rubber mulch. It stains, it's dirty. That's a huge problem. We're gonna remove all this rubber mulch, okay. and then we're gonna actually excavate some of the ground underneath it. 
because we want to put in a clean stone base for drainage. So we also wanted to add some fun things for the kids in totally. this space. So we have some wood structures that are being built off site right now and they're going to have climbing uh, holds on them. We really love supporting the community, um, especially kids, a space where they can play, imagine, get their hands dirty, get away from the electronics, the iPads, that kind of stuff. We were all in. And then along this wall, it's actually going to be really cool. We have some planters that are being built. Not only can we put colorful plants and you know the kids can play in it, but it's an opportunity for the kids to learn how to grow vegetables and fruits. You know what, it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of manpower to clear out this space. Blue Spruce definitely has their team, but I brought my own army. Today, National Grid is supporting me for their day of service. How many you got? That's what I'm talking about, yeah! This is my friend Rebecca! They're coming out in force. All right, one, everybody in! Home seven on three. One, two, three. Home seven. National Grid is so excited to be here for Day of Service. Uh, we've been doing these events for the last few years to help nonprofits, help you know beautify our neighborhoods that we live, work, and play in. I love being out in the community, um, particularly here at Hope 7. I think it's awesome that we're revitalizing some of the history here in Troy. Um, it's great to be able to tell the story and be able to uh, keep this building going. I'm a Troy guy, true and true. For me, it's personal. I live two blocks away from this facility, and I see these young kids go in and out of here daily. We are cleaning out that playground. We are taking up shovel after shovel after after shovel full. <laughs> George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by National Grid. A smart thermostat can bring several benefits to your home. Firstly, it can help you save energy and reduce your utility bill. By automatically adjusting the temperature based on your habits, it can ensure that your home is always comfortable while minimizing unnecessary energy consumption. Additionally, a smart thermostat provides greater control and convenience, allowing you to adjust the temperature remotely via your smartphone or voice assistant. For more information on how to save energy, visit nationalgrid.com or check with your local utility. My goodness, this is incredible. What's up, hey, Joy? Hey, George, good to see you. We have the moss walls, we have the new lights, the new paint, and then the furniture just came. White glove delivery, put it all together and set it up exactly where I wanted it to go. Old Brick was an incredible shopping experience. When you go in to their showroom, it's no pressure, they have a price point for every budget, and then their design center is available, should you need it, for any kind of customizing you'd be looking to have. All right, Julie, I got baskets for the shelves. Perfect. Get this all thing right. all Whoa. set up. You can't just go putting them where you want to put them. I have a plan. Organization is extremely important for this art room. Coming into the space initially, they had rolling racks that weren't secured. It was kind of a disheveled mess. No, that's a hot Stair mess step. express. That hot is what, mess express. Am I an organized person? I'm a very organized person. I have to be with what I do. I'm very type A. Oh, mio, mio. Some of them are already uh, loaded up. I think George is a very organized person. I also think he gets distracted like a squirrel. All right, so now all we have left is a teacher's desk. What Julie has done in the art room is she made it into three different pods. We have our standing work area, we have our sitting work area, and then we have our area for the little ones. Excuse me, um, teacher Julie, got a question over here? I wanted this space to kind of cater to the younger children because the rest of the room really is gonna focus on the tweens and teens. Command brand was able to really help us organize this art room. We have the caddies on the walls. We were able to use the command strips to hang up all these inspirational sayings. Yes, play nice, work hard, <laughs> stay kind. Stay kind. We are able to decorate fearlessly because we use Command Brand, so if we ever do need to move them, clean removal every single time. You know, I can already feel just the wave of excitement as these kids come running in here. They're gonna wanna just play and draw and participate in everything, and these stools are just gonna come out, you know, all the time. And these beautiful floors, last thing we want is anything happen to them, so I got my adjustable Scotch felt pads. Give these chairs a little bit more love. The playground area is night and day from where it was. 
The murals from Classic Wall Finishes are fantastic. Lake Chase and Curtis Lumber created all the wood structures for the planters, the sandbox, and the climbing walls. This turf? No, the turf. Game what, changer. We, you had literally ground up dirty tire. Yeah. And that was it. Look at this. We got the climbing wall. I feel like I could like take a training ground. Like, you gotta go to Hope Seven. You gotta hit the cargo net. Then you gotta get yourself on the wall. You gotta do a quick sideways, bounce off the wall, roll, roll onto the stage. And then you gotta do like a Marlon Brando line. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. George and I are putting the finishing touches on that outdoor play space. So sand toys, little yard games. All right, so first, let's start at one end and, oh, my Lanta. Again, squirrel, I need to bring him in and not have him too distracted. Oh, I found the gold. <laughs> We're going to be rich, baby. This area obviously, you know, speaks to me. You know, I'm a little kid at heart. All right, bringing in the old saucer. Up five, up five, go, you got it, go, 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 game's over. No hitter. Oh! This project was absolutely special to me. My husband and I, our son, our oldest son, had a NICU stay of 11 days, and that was the scariest thing to have to be discharged from the hospital without your baby. And that has always hit a chord, and we always made a promise to give back to children's charities, and we have. And I really hope that the kids here feel not just the energy, but the emotion we put in to executing this plan to the best of our ability. Unbelievable, everything that we were able to do here, everyone you brought through the doors. One more surprise that National Grid is helping us out with. Oh my gosh, yes. that's huh? awesome. Are you ready? Absolutely. It is going to be an all timer. <laughs> oh, oh all time record, most energy ever on George's Rescue Reveal. Ever, ever, I, my heart is full. Filtreat Smart Air Purifiers are great at capturing viruses, bacteria, and dust. Outfitted with a true HEPA filter, look for Filtreat Smart Air Purifiers online to learn more and find a retailer near you. What's up? What's up? You guys are absolutely amazing. Loved being here, hanging out here, just feeling the energy every day. What do you say? You guys ready to see what we did? Huh? Yeah. Let's go. I'm still in a state of shock. It looks so beautiful in there. I was impressed because of, like the floorboards, the walls, and like all the new furniture, the, the art and stuff. You walk in there and it looks like, you know, life was breathed into the room. It just looked so beautiful, so fresh. I grew up in this neighborhood. I know when this was a firehouse. So it, there's been a lot of change and it's all been for the good and I hope this place stays here forever. The old art room was a mess. It's, it's better, better than, than the other one. one. It's better than before and it's a good thing the carpet's not there because it used to have slime on it. Right, draw, check it out. I'm excited to color with the glitter glue. I'm, I'm excited to paint. I'm a great painter. I'm excited to have some rainbow colors in my life, finally. I've had a few kids come up to me and they're like, can we live here? Can we move in here? Because they love it so much. And they're like, can this be my bedroom? And I was like, well, it's nicer than even my bedroom. Hey, guys, who wants to see the playground? <laughs> It's amazing. It's a good job and I like it. Oh my God. I wonder how they did that. Whoa! Oh, all time record, most energy ever on George's Rescue Reveal. Ever, ever, like, my heart is full. No, you this guys did it. I, I love it to my own heart, but I, uh. No, you guys did I, awesome. Yeah. Wow.
Uh, I'd say the first thing that I'm most excited about is that the kids won't come inside looking like they just <laughs> exited a coal mine. Uh, the old rubber chips were horrible. It's about time. I no longer have to get stupid wood chips stuck on my feet. Because yeah. every single time when I always go home, I always find wood chips inside of my shoe, and I'm like, what is that? To have now a space that they'll be much safer, cleaner, healthier is amazing for all of us. It's great that, you know, people can drive by here and, you know, see the outdoor space. It gives everyone who comes and works here a sense of pride. Thank you for letting us come here to Hope 7. Kids, these are the ones that made this happen. They came through for this community to make sure that the art room, that the playground, that this place was more energy efficient. But we're not done yet. I would like to uh, invite my friend Brian from National Grid up. National Grid is committed to and invested in the communities that we serve. And we are incredibly inspired by the work that you're doing here at Hope 7. And we want to invest in that further. So it is my pleasure to present to you on behalf of National Grid's Project C a check for $50,000. I'm a local guy, I was born and raised in Troy, so to be able to come back to Hope 7 here and give back to the community and see the, the, the way in which this project unfolded here was just amazing. It's pretty incredible, I really don't know what to say, I'm kind of still in shock. I was not expecting $50,000, that was way more than I could ever imagine. We're just incredibly grateful for everything that George and National Grid and all of the community partners have done for us. So with that money, we can just help out our community more, and it's, it's just an incredible feeling to be able to do that. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it the old thumbs up, and definitely subscribe so you never miss a video.